What's up everyone? On this episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're going to give you an update on the tank and go through two new products that help me clean and look at my tank in a different way. So as far as the tank update is concerned, there's been an a exponential amount of growth in the tank. Uh, starting with, as soon as the yellow tank gets out of the way, um, my A-cans. The A-cans are, are off the sand now and they're on a rock, and they are growing in leaps and bounds every day. This green and blue one on this side, the polyps are just really, really big. And as you can see, the orange one is growing more and more, practically growing into the one in the back. These are two separate uh, frags of the same A-can. And this front one is just growing like crazy, as well as the back one. Moving across, the fungia plate, of course, is its usual self. Now, as far as the Zoa garden is concerned, it's filling in rather nicely. All the Zoas are uh, responding to the new area that they're in, and they're filling up really, really well. The Zoas themselves are growing, and they're actually larger than I can remember them ever getting. The dry rock that they were sitting on is greening up, and it's on its way to populating with coral and algae. So. I'm really thrilled about the way this is coming along and soon should, hopefully, this rock will be filled with zoanthids. I picked up a new frag of zoanthids from Billy Pipes and this adds a splash of orange into the tank, uh, which is much needed. I want as much color as I can out of this uh, section. The mushrooms that are inhabiting this rock are growing in nicely, and if anybody can help me, again, I have no idea what that is. This was a hitchhiker that was on the rock, and I'm still trying to figure out what it is. When feeding comes um, and food enters the tank, this opens up and has tentacles on the inside, so I'm really curious as to what this is. I have two favias in the tank now this is a uh, Christmas favia wow the yellow tang is just persistent in getting in my way today this is I'm hopeful that this will encrust on that rock and then I'll take it off the plug wow this yellow tang <laughs> what the heck okay she just doesn't want to get out of the way okay back to this I'm hoping that this will and crust over this rock and that this will grow into a nice large piece for the future and fill up this area. The purple digi, I had an accident with it where I clipped off the front fingers and because of that the section of the red digi that I was going to clip off I actually used to glue the purple digi to it. So I'm interested to see how that's going to work out. I glued a frag of the Hollywood Stunner Chalice to the overflow, so I'm hoping that's going to fill out more and take up this whole area and cover this overflow as much as possible. <coughs> the Satosa corals are doing really well. As you can see, the polyp extension is really, really nice on them, and they're growing every day so much so that probably what will happen is the pink setosa that is right here um, even it has good polyp extension but I'm thinking as far as growth wise it may do better just a little higher the green encrusting Monty is really polyped fully as you can see here so and I'm getting some growth out of it but it's being rather slow so I'm not really worried about it the Montipora is really doing well. 
as far as growth is concerned. And the Euphelia corner is really filling in nicely. So I'm really thrilled about this. You may have noticed on a recent broadcast that uh, Billy Pipes has a frag of this frog spawn in the tank. The reason why I did that is because it was starting to grow into this area and touch the glass so it was, wasn't allowing me to clean the glass very well. My neon green candy canes are filling up more and more. The heads are getting immense on it as you can see by this one right here. And it really shines the bottom of this rock up. So uh, as quickly as possible, this is a, an update as far as the tank is concerned. The, the one bad po point is still the uh, Duncan Coral. And uh, I am getting to the point now that I'm thinking of taking this out of the tank and possibly moving it um, or trying to put it in a system where it'll do better than mine. So, as far as the two new products are concerned, I picked up a mag float with a scraper blade this weekend, and I've been using it um, since Sunday. And I can honestly say my glass has never been as clean as it is now. You can see even down here, where in the tough area down by the sand, where if you go back to past videos, I had algae buildup. It is really really clean and there is no algae at all now which thrills me to death because now at least the tank glass itself looks a lot cleaner and neater than it did before as far as the mag float I have the scraper attachment with it and I highly recommend this is the medium one and uh, I highly recommend this to anybody who's looking for a cleaner scraper for their tank when it comes to switching over by the corners, I mean, all you got to do is release it and it floats to the surface and then you just reattach it. So nothing could be easier and I'm really, really happy with the mag float. The second item, it's a glass cleaner put out by Coral Box and it's called the Magnet Clean Explorer. And the reason for that is there is a magnifying glass in the center of it, which allows you to really look up close on the piece of coral that you're looking at. Uh, on the inside of it there's a cleaning ring that allows you to clean the glass as you move it along the tank. Now the reason this is a great product is because since I've picked it up I have spent so much time looking through this and just looking at the polyp extension and whatever else I can look at in the tank. So much so that I picked up, and you can just barely see it floating in here. There is a zoanthid eating nudibranch that I picked up because when I zoomed in down here, I picked it up. And it was sitting right on the rock right there on its way over to the utter chaos and I was able to suck it out of, the, out of the tank so this product to me is well worth the expense of buying it I'll link uh, both the mag float and <laughs> the magnet clean explorer in the description down below and a way for you to pick them up because believe me um, just now this is zooming through my phone so it's double magnified as far as this is pretty much what I see when I look through this with the naked eye and just looking at the polyps itself and the growth on the Montipora cap is I mean it fascinates me and I spend hours just sitting here sliding this ring along my glass looking at my tank which in turn is also cleaning my glass at the same time because it's a glass cleaner so well worth the investment okay uh, that basically is the update uh, remember the 
500 subscriber coral giveaway is still going on. It'll be closing on uh, December 22nd, so get your entries in and link them in the description down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and link the, the video so this way you can get your entry in. And uh, until next time, this is Scott, and I'll see you again next time by the Reef Tank.